see a probability distribution table, how do you know that it's valid or not? So there are two things that you have to check. The first thing that you will have to check is the probabilities is between 0 and 1, right? And then next, they must be sum up to 1. But one thing that people miss all the time is the random variable x must be quantitative, right? So x must be quantitative. So let's take a look at the first table. Is x quantitative? First of all, what is x represent? So in the first table, I let x represent the grades, right? So in my class, so we have a, b, c, d, e. Uh, we don't have e, right? Okay, we don't have e. Then let's do an f then. So in my class, we have a, b, c, d, and e. So this is the grade distribution. 30% people got an a, 40 got a b, 20 got a c, a got a d, and then 2% got an f. Is this a valid probability distribution? First of all, they sum up to 100%, you can do a quick math. And then the second of, second of all, each probability is between 0% and 100%. However, is x quantitative? The answer is no, right? So not in this table. So that means this is not a valid probability distribution. What about the other side? x represents the result of a game, but this time you see that x is negative. Can x be negative? Of course, x of course x can be negative. So this one, what what how, how about this? So let's say I have a box. I have many many cars inside this box. Each car has a number written on it. And then you wish your hand in, into the box and then you grab one car out. What is the probability that you will get a negative 5? What is the probability that you will get a negative 3? So the probability distribution is right there. First of all, they add up to 100% and then second of all, each percentage is between 0% and 1%. If you want to take a look at the decimal, so this is a 0.3, this is a 0.4, this is a 0.2, this is a 0.08, this is a 0.02. So they are between 0 and 1. So that tells me this is valid. Now, let me change this a little bit. So how about negative 0 0.3 and then 0 0.7 and then 0 0.2 and then 0 0.08? and then 0 0.02. Is this valid? Is this valid? The answer is no. Why? Because this is not a probability. This is negative. What is negative? Negative means not a probability. So that one is not valid. All right. And then let me give you the next one. So let's say the next one, the probability to get a negative 5 is 1, and then the rest, they are all 0. Is this valid? The answer is yes. Why? How come all the probabilities are 0? Probability can be 0. So we have a bunch of cars in a box, right? What if every single car has a negative 5 written on it? So it doesn't matter which one you pick, you always get a negative 5. So the probability of getting a negative 5 is 100%. So that is valid, right? And then uh, what about what about this? Uh, let's use an, an, another color. So what about uh, 0, 2? zero 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 the probability that you get a negative three is two what is this so two is equivalent to two hundred percent can we have two hundred percent as a probability the answer is no two hundred percent is more than a hundred percent so that is not a probability so let's say someone tell you such statement i am so good in stats i am so good in math i am going to take the final exam next monday and i have two hundred percent confident, I am very confident that 200% of the time, I will get an A on the test. Don't trust that person, right? That person says 200% of the time, I will get an A. So 200% is not a probability. If person makes such statement, that person has no idea what probability is. So that person is not going to get an A. So that that is a pretty good example, right? So the, before I conclude the video, I want to show you one more. So the one that I want to show you is this. So let's say um, I have x and then I give you a multiple distinct value, negative 2, 4, and 9. And then this is the probability. So let's say I have 0 0.25 and then 0 0.25. Can you find the missing probabilities for me? Then you might say, all right, they sum up to 1. I use 100% minus the 25 minus the 25. So I still have 50% left, right? But there are two empty slots. Where should I distribute? How do I distribute this 50%? The answer is 
there are more than one right answer. So you still have 50% left, right? You can do this. 50%, zero. As long as they add up to 100%, you will be okay. No negative, no more than one, no less than zero. You can do pawn four, and then this is a pawn one. That is fine. You can do a pawn two and a pawn three. That's fine. As long as they add up to zero, right? So now, what happened if the last one is pawn one? How do you find this missing percentage? So the way we do this is we take a hundred percent, which is one minus the first pawn twenty five, and then minus a ten percent. So you lose fifty percent, and then you lose another ten percent. So that means overall you have forty percent left. So that is how you find the missing probability. So that will be all in this video. Let me know how was it. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like it, subscribe, share the video for me. I appreciate your help really much. I will see you all in the next one. Signing out for now.